splitting a perfume. It sounds quite simple, right? You take a perfume and you share it with other people. How do you do that? What uh, does a split mean? Okay, so when you split a perfume, quite obvious, okay, you split with other people, okay, you share with other people a perfume. Uh, the rules for a split are usually mentioned on the Facebook uh, group page, okay? Uh, you have the rules and you can see uh, what is required from you if you want to organize a split or if you want to participate in a split. So let's start first. Why would you do a split, organize a split? You want a perfume. It is expensive. Uh, you are not willing to pay the full some for 100 milliliter and I'm kind of highlighting this because usually the perfume to be interested for uh, interesting for you and for others um, you need a good deal and the good deals are usually for 100 or 200 milliliter bottles not for the small bottles doesn't make that much sense you know to buy a small bottle and uh, split it so you are looking for 100 or 75 milliliters at least. Uh, the perfume has to be interesting uh, also for others, not just for you. So even if we are talking niche or luxury, uh, ideally it is a perfume that is a little bit hyped or the notes, something in it makes it very interesting for others to try it. And uh, when you make an announcement, please make sure that you put information regarding notes, score on Fragrantica and so on. Um, and you are uh, willing to keep at least a part of the perfume. Usually you should keep at least 50% okay, of the uh, whole volume in order to uh, make a good split. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, you are interested, right? Because you want the perfume, you are not willing to pay the full price, uh, but you, you are happy if you keep 30, 40, 50 milliliters in the bottle. And uh, that makes sense for you to organize a split. Please keep in mind that organizing a split it is not so easy as it seems. Okay, you need some materials, you need participants, you need to put a nice announcement. Uh, but why would other people participate in your split? Okay, so others might be interested to participate in your split if it is a very hot perfume and they are really uh, willing, to, uh, really willing to try it, but it is not available. Okay, so even if uh, you have, for example, Chanel, okay, Coco Mademoiselle or something like that. Uh, even if the perfume is expensive uh, and uh, popular and hyped, uh, they can go to Sephora, Douglas and so on and try the perfume, even get a small sample. So it doesn't make sense uh, for them to participate in your split and buy 5-10 milliliters. Uh, but if the perfume is not um, readily uh, ready available for them to sample, they are more uh, interested in participating, okay? Because they want to try it out and they are willing to pay for five, 10 or more milliliters uh, in order for them to experience the perfume. So uh, this would be um, the first rule for a successful split to find uh, or to choose a perfume that you want but also other people are willing you know to have at least some milliliters from it um, when you do a split you have to uh, be careful of course you are going to follow the facebook group rules but usually those rules are you have to mention of course the perfume you have to mention the source so this is important to be as transparent as possible. The source with the price, the price that the others will pay for uh, the small decants would be the acquisition price. So you are not uh, going to make profit in selling those decants. 
this is called decanting is something different okay if you want to do that you can do but not in a split a split usually means that you take some risk okay you buy the perfume uh, but um, you share the risk so by sharing the risk by gathering more participants when you uh, pay for the bottle uh, the nice and decent thing to do is that everybody is paying the same price per milliliter so the acquisition price okay of course after you specify the source the price per milliliter uh, usually the price per milliliter can include the price of the transport that you are paying okay this would be the correct way then you are going to mention if you will charge for the small uh, bottles decant bottles okay so the bottle uh, glass plastic bottle usually comes with a price for you right so you should put that in the in the announcement are you going to charge them for that or are you going to offer the bottles you can do that as well and the price okay for the bottles 5 10 15 milliliter bottles how much of the perfume you are willing to split so if you have 100 milliliters and you are going to keep 50 <laughs> maybe okay so 50 40 60 whatever you are going to put there i am keeping 50 milliliters and i am willing to split the other 50 milliliters and i have this type of bottles 5 10 15 milliliters the price for the bottles are that you get the idea and also you are going to mention how much uh, the participants will pay for the courier okay even if you are using post service okay no matter what you have to put also what would uh, will the price for the transport uh, for sending them the parcels with the decant will be for them in order for them to have a very transparent idea on what will a small decant cost them so this is a split basically but uh, okay you are willing to make the split you know now <laughs> how to make an announcement for the split but please follow the facebook groups rules okay and you need some materials so you have organized the split uh, you had the number of participants that you uh, required for uh, splitting a perfume you made the acquisition usually you buy the perfume after all the participants uh, are in okay and uh, you need some other elements in order to make the decans first you need the perfume <laughs> in this case we have this beautiful honor amouage made in oman beautiful lovely spring and summer perfume but done in an oriental way it is a white uh, floral perfume and i'm going to do a review but not right now the presentation is gorgeous so you have the perfume okay and then you need some other stuff to be able to do the decants you will need first some glass or plastic spray bottles because usually you want a spray bottle not a dab on or something like this or a roll on so with an atomizer the bottles can be opened like this they can be made of clear glass in this case or of um, how is it called dark glass let's just call it dark glass uh, usually um, this is better because it's going to keep uh, the perfume properties uh, for a longer period of time but let's face it when you have a bottle like this you should use the perfume as soon as possible otherwise it could evaporate no matter how good uh, it is uh, sealed here because you can't seal it like a perfume sealed uh, in a factory okay i usually prefer a clear glass because um, um, you know if you decant a perfume somehow you want to experience also the color of the liquid okay the color in some perfumes uh, the connoisseurs are considering to be quite important and they can tell if a perfume you know is original or not <laughs> if they look at the color and then you 
need a technique, right? So I have the perfume and you can open it like this and you can spray in the bottle. But a lot of your perfume is going to get on your hands, in the air. And it is a pity <laughs> because it is an expensive perfume, right? So let's see uh, what other methods uh, you have. So you can use a funnel. funnel. I have a small plastic funnel that fits perfectly in here. So when I'm spraying the perfume, you know, it doesn't get uh, so much in the air and more uh, in the bottle. But with this one, you are still uh, going to lose, <laughs> lose some perfume that is precious, okay? And um, you can also use the second method, a uh, syringe, but with no needle, okay? Just the plasticky part, not the needle. The needle could damage, uh, you know, the atomizer. So the syringe without the needle, you can enlarge this part with a fork or something like this, because usually uh, it won't be, oh my God. So I think I'm going to break this bottle. I'm not going to use it, the small bottle. So you can take the little cap. Okay. Let me try. Don't uh, break it. Okay, just take it off. Simple, like that. Okay. And then when you enlarge your syringe, you will put it here. Not in my case, because this is not enlarged. And you are going to press it and then, you know, get some milliliters of perfume. Why haven't I done this to my syringe? Haven't enlarged? Uh, the syringe to do that because uh, I have experience with uh, some Amouage fragrances and let's face it, this is not the best uh, method, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, there is something with their atomizer and I find that the syringe uh, isn't working as well as the next method <laughs> and the method is this small gadget. So it comes like this. Okay, so it's going to look like this. This small gadget comes from Amazon in my case, but I'm sure you can find it uh, on AliExpress on, uh, or other websites. It is made in China for sure. And I waited for some time for it to come uh, here where I live. I think uh, it took like six or uh, seven weeks <laughs> uh, for the package to arrive. But anyway, it has a really convenient price and I'm going to put a picture of the product and maybe a link. So we put this in the small bottle. I'm using a five milliliter bottle for this. And I'm spraying the perfume. And as you can see, nothing is in the air and the liquid is here in the bottle. And I'm going to do that, okay? <laughs> you need some muscles <laughs> uh, for your finger because it takes some time and I really want to fill this bottle for you to have, uh, to see how much I'm going to put in it and so on. So this is the technique that I, uh, technique that I like the best. I feel it is easier. Okay, almost full. It is not going to damage uh, your uh, bottle, the atomizer of the bottle. My bottle, I don't know if you can see it, it's almost full because, okay, it has to fit also this. Okay, and not to spill. Uh, it's going to be, I don't know, quite a pity to spill such a fragrance. So now I have the small spray decant bottle filled. I'm going to put the cap. And I'm going to do all the other uh, bottles, but not right now. What else do you need? So you need some scotch, okay? And usually I'm tapping, taping also this part of the bottle, okay? So this part where the cap and the bottle is combined, because uh, I'm afraid for it not to leak, okay? And sometimes I am taping also the uh, cap on, okay? But for now, I just wanted to show you that I'm taping this part. And I had, okay, some scissors. 
and okay and then we are going to put a label <laughs> with the name <laughs> okay in this case honor amouage okay i haven't prepared the label but okay you can imagine a uh, white paper and you can use also some uh, scotch to put it here and after that you need also some bubble wrap okay because you want each small little spray bottle to be uh, carefully wrapped okay because it's going to be handled not with so much care by the courier and after that you need some envelopes and i'm using envelopes with bubble uh, wraps as well put um, glued in special envelopes to be as sure as possible that my small parcel will arrive <laughs> safe uh, to the participant uh, to my split this would be the best way to have a luxury perfume that maybe you can't really afford i understand perfectly but you want at least a small part of it and the full experience the bottle the packaging but if you want to save uh, all the, the trouble <laughs> okay so if you want to save your time um, please look for uh, very good deals on partial bottles uh, because uh, you can do a very good deal on a partial bottle even if you are paying a little bit more for a partial bottle uh, that um, uh, than for a bottle that you are splitting it makes sense uh, if you don't want to uh, get into that complicated process right i hope uh, this video was useful interesting for you <laughs> and if so please hit all the buttons like subscribe notification bell stay safe see you next time bye bye